back to my channel. If you are new around here, hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a mommy to five, and in today's video, we are going to talk back to school lunches. Now, I don't know if you all follow Jordan Page or if you have ever visited her YouTube channel, but if you have not, stop right now, write down her name, you need to check her out. She provides all kinds of great like content that kind of like motivates you to get organized, gives you ways to do things like on the cheap, she is a mommy to, I think it's six now. I know she's pregnant. I don't know if she's pregnant with her seventh or with her sixth, but anyway, she has a large family just like me, and she gives a lot of like back to school hacks, et cetera, on her channel. I could go on and on and on about her, but I will link the particular video that I'm talking about in the description box below. So anyways, she has a system that's basically broken the internet, as she says. It's her back to school lunch system, and I have decided that I'm going to implement a lot of that stuff into my household this year. A few videos ago, I did a back to school organization and in that I mentioned how much I hate packing lunches. So the goal for this year is for my kids to actually pack their own lunches. My older two are in third and fourth grade, so they're totally self-sufficient at this point. I just needed to like implement a system. So I will say that my kids do eat in the cafeteria every once in a while. Um, usually maybe like once a week, once every two weeks. My kids eat at school here and there, but for the most part they pack. So with all of that being said, we are going to start implementing Jordan Page's back to school lunch system today. And I'm going to show you how I am going to put that into my household. So I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but you can freeze a lot of lunch sandwiches. And I did not know that until I actually heard Jordan Page mention it and then also Jamarelle Stewart mentioned it. And so last year we did do this with Caleb's lunches. He likes a lot of ham and cheese sandwiches and those are super simple to freeze ahead of time. And then what they do the morning of, they just grab it out of the freezer, put it in their lunchbox, and by the time they eat lunch, it's thawed out. So right here, I've already got like a loaf of bread laid out. And what I do is I go ahead and just like make like the ham and cheese sandwiches and then I cut it in half because I was noticing last year that he wasn't eating a full sandwich at lunch. So I cut it in half and that way these go a long way. So today what I'm using is this extra lean ham from Costco. This actually comes in a two pack and this has been frozen for a while so I just pulled it out. But this lasts so long, it has so much meat in there. And then I'm just using the Kroger medium cheddar today. Generally, I buy um, the cheddar cheese from Costco, but I forgot to grab that at my last trip. So this is what I'm gonna be utilizing, and then the bread. My kids do not personally like like mayonnaise or anything or mustard on their sandwiches. They're more of like a plain Jane type thing. So if you do like condiments though, um, you can actually do that as well. You just do a very thin layer um, on the bread before you freeze it, and it doesn't make it like soak through the bread or anything like that. So, hack for you. This was like actually not even a full loaf of bread. And generally, I would just go ahead and whip out more, but we're almost out of bread. So I made all of these. This is how much ham is still left over. And this is how much cheese is still left over. And I have all of these sandwiches for lunches. So they're all just like little half sandwiches. Now I will say I do use plastic bags, but Jordan Page actually recommended this as well. She said that she tells her kids if it's something like this, bring the bag home. You can just kind of clean it out and reuse it. That way it's not so much plastic waste, but I have not found a better solution for things like this. It's 14 sandwiches in total. And I mean, y'all, you could not buy a hot lunch for cheaper than that. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the freezer and kind of just show you how we do that. went ahead and made for lunches is just I went ahead and did individual pepperoni and big cheese and then like a bag of crackers so if they want that for their lunch they can just grab both of those items stick it in their lunch box and they can take that instead of a sandwich so basically it comes down to kind of just thinking ahead as to what your kids request for lunch the most often and then going ahead and kind of like pre-packaging those items especially the ones that have to be like refrigerated or the things that really take time to make in the morning Another item that my kids love to take for lunch sometimes is cereal. So last year when they first started wanting to take this, I was like buying like the little individual cups that were like a dollar a piece. And then I was buying like the little Horizons milk and all of that was adding up really fast. So what I figured out last year to do was actually to take the cereal, buy it like in a bulk size and go ahead and separate that also into Ziploc bags. Like I said, those Ziploc bags can be reused so don't judge me on that. So I go ahead and separate those into little Ziploc bags for them to just grab when they want cereal for lunch that day. And then instead of buying like the Horizons like organic milk that doesn't really have to be refrigerated, I just went ahead and purchased a few thermoses and you can put the milk in here and then they can actually just pour their cereal into this and use it as a bowl as well. This also works for any type of hot lunch that you want to take. For this week, I just have Cheerios, and this will last more than a week. But sometimes we'll switch it up with like mini wheats, live cereal, etc. Just whatever cereal they're in the mood for that week or whatever's on sale. But this is so much cheaper than buying the individual cereals. Okay, so here's an example of a bin. This has like the peanut butter crackers in it that they could have for part of their lunch. It has like the Costco granola bars and then the bags of Cheerios. So for this item, um, the way Jordan Page does it is she has like her bins labeled like take two, take one, etc. This would be one where they would just like take one item if they wanted any of this in their lunchbox. Okay, in this bin, this is where we keep like the chip-like items. So I just go ahead and do individual like goldfish, Doritos, whatever chips we have on hand. I generally like to buy my goldfish at Costco in bulk. This week we used a Kroger special, but that is so much cheaper than the individual goldfish. And then I have his crackers just for if they want like the salami, cheese, etc. But this is an item where they would just take one as well snack bin so I keep more of like the pre-packaged kind in here our kids are allowed to take a snack they don't always take one every day but in here we just have like skinny pop muffins etc so they could just grab one out of here every day if they want to take a snack we also have this bin and we just keep like portioned apple sauces um, pineapples diced pears etc so they can grab one of these each day as well Apples and bananas usually in here that they're free to take if they would like to take that type of fruit. So this is how I organize the refrigerator. Ignore the mess. I need to deep clean this thing. But generally this is full of yogurt or jellos or anything like that. I'm actually picking up a click list today so it's kind of bare. But every morning they need to come over here and pick something. So we usually have yogurts, jellos, etc. This is also where I keep the pre-portioned um, pepperonis and cheeses or where I would keep some of the ham and cheese sandwiches if I made some fresh. This drawer is also where I normally keep like our um, pre-cut fruit. So like I said, I am picking up a click list today. We're running bare on quite a lot of things, but usually I'll put like some cut up strawberries or some blueberries, cantaloupe, honeydew, watermelon, etc. in these containers. I'll do that on a Monday and then I will just put them in this drawer and then they can grab one of those each morning as well. That way I make sure that they're still getting like fruits and things in their lunch. You could also put like carrot sticks, um, broccoli, cauliflower, whatever vegetable in this as well. We also have a dessert bin right here where they're allowed to take like one piece of candy for a dessert, like one Starburst, a couple Sour Patch Kids, a couple M&Ms, etc. And they can fix that themselves. 
here's kind of like an overview of what it looks like in our pantry, just to show that you don't have to have like fancy items to make this work. These are from the dollar store. I could have got deeper bins, honestly, but this is just what I have on hand. So like I said, we just have like the goldfish, um, crackers, chips, et cetera, right here where they can just take one. Right here we have like the peanut butter crackers, the granola bars, the cereal, et cetera, where they could take one. Back there's the snack one. This one I'm going to fill up with some more items that I'm getting on my click list today that they can have just for like grabbing goes. Right there's our fruit. Um, right here's our fresh fruit. We keep their lunch boxes right here. And then once they're done picking out their stuff in the pantry, they can go over to our refrigerator to finish off their lunch. We also keep um, little like small bottles of Gatorade, um, waters, et cetera, like that, that they can take for a drink. So that's the system as it is right now. I am so thankful for Jordan Page just kind of sharing like this like common sense knowledge to all of us moms to really make us like stop and think about how we are getting ready for lunches. Because honestly, buying the prepackaged stuff is super expensive. So just like the idea of buying in bulk and prepackaging it down yourself saves you so much money and time, honestly. The kids can even help you like prepackage all of that stuff like on a Sunday or something. And then freezing sandwiches is a game changer. One other thing that you can make ahead of time is hot dogs. So you can go ahead and cook like a whole pack of hot dogs and then put them in like, um, in the refrigerator in a like big Ziploc bag. And then throughout that week, you can kind of just like warm them up in the morning, put them in a bun, put condiments or whatever you want on them, and then wrap them in aluminum foil and put that into your lunchbox and they actually stay warm for lunch. So that's another hack. My kids like those every once in a while. But I hope this video was helpful for you all, especially you moms that are dealing with kids going back to school right now. I don't know if anybody else hates packing lunches as much as I do, but this has made it a lot easier. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. I'll see you on the next one. Big love happens in the small